Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Right here I have the box sent to me from uniqueskins.com and what that is is a great website where you can fully customize a skin for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, you can upload your own images, you can use some of theirs, you can use your own text and you guys will see what I made mine look like uh, soon when I unbox this. So, it says they sent it USPS First Class, uniqueskins.com uh, and that's pretty much it, just a plain white box, on the other side, nothing, so let's get to the unboxing, and then I will actually put it on my iPod. So it comes in a little thing, nothing left in the box, um, nothing, no scissors required, which is always a plus. Um, so it just has some information, some shipping information, um, total price. Uh, total was zero dollars because um, they gave me a gift card so that I could unbox and review this for you guys. So as you can see, here is what it looks like. This is the back. This is the front. Um, I got my logo going on there and then Alex iPod. Looks very nice. Um, I'm not sure if there are instructions, although it's probably pretty straightforward. Um, nope, don't seem to be instructions. So, let's just get to putting this on my iPod. I'll have to take the case off. Back to the side. And, looks like it's just a peel off. So there it is. Now for the iPod assembly. Um, you can see it's got a little place right there for it. I don't, uh, I think it goes, sorry guys, this might take a little bit. Don't want to mess up anything. Because I don't want to have to redo this or else it'll probably get messed up. Maybe move it a little bit to the side. Okay, flip it up to the top. Get it on the sides and on the other sides. And, all right, I got the back on. Back looks very nice. Time for the front. Front should be a lot easier with the screen and the home button as kind of guides as to where to put it. Uh, as you can see, it comes off very easily. Don't need to worry about it breaking. And I'm just going to stick that on the top right above where the screen starts. And then bring it down. Gotta get it. Uh, actually, I suggest putting it right where the um, the home button is first. That way, it kind of guides you better as to where to put it. And then just slide that on there. Gotta make sure this is perfect because this is gonna be on my iPod for probably a really long time. So sorry if this is kind of boring for you guys. Um, doesn't look perfect. Alright, so there it is, the skin for my iPod. Uh, my iPod looks like a brand new iPod now, I love the look of it. Back, front, um, so that's pretty much it. You can still see the full screen and everything. Um, that's my theme. And it should be fine with the case on it. Let me just put this case back on it. And this is an excellent protection for the back uh, if you don't have a case. So I'll make sure that you don't get any scratches there. And the case is needs to be pushed in a little more. But 
now, as you can see, my iPod looks totally different. Looks very cool. And that's pretty much it. So make sure to head on over to uniqueskins.com. Link in the description um, for some custom skins for your iPhone and iPod. They are about, they're $7. Um, so it's a very, very good price uh, for what you're getting. You can obviously customize it wherever you want. Um, I made pretty cool customization, I think. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, link also in the description, for a chance to get a discount on some of these. Once I get to 120 fo 20 followers, uh, there will be a discount on the unique skins. So make sure to check that out, and thank you for watching.